Sources of Income Growing Tomatoes We talked about growing tomatoes in order to benefit from the rapid growth rate of a hundred times the value in the first 30 days. And we converted that 100 times rate into a percentage. 10,000% each month from seed germination will turn a penny into a trillion dollars in eight months, theoretically. But I also added that it's not easy, and it gets much harder after $100 million, and some may find running a business difficult much sooner. Yet many want to try it because they want to grow a penny into something, even if it's just $10,000 or a $1 million. Today we're going to discuss the sources of income because it was very complicated when I pondered it. And I drew this chart to show you the sources of income, the paydays, and the way to build this business and get multiple paydays each month. You begin your business by obtaining a tomato seed. And if you don't have a penny, there are ways to do this without spending any money. For example, ask the produce manager at the grocery store if he has any rotten tomatoes and you can obtain about a hundred seeds in this way. People pay about 10 cents for a seed in small quantities and if the rotten tomato has a hundred seeds you have about ten dollars worth of seeds in that discarded fruit. So don't miss the opportunity to get your business launched on a rotten tomato. We will use a yellow ellipse to represent the acquisition of seeds. The yellow ellipse will also represent germination. When you give the seeds the right conditions, they will germinate. Sunlight? No. Fertilizer? Nope. Just warmth and moisture. That's all you need. In 30 days, that seed will be a small tomato plant, about 4 inches tall, and worth about a dollar. You have at least two choices. You can sell the plant, like a penny stock, and take your profit. That's one choice. And number two, you can continue to nurture it and get some tomatoes from it. These two choices will return again and again as you germinate seeds. Some people are familiar with the growth cycle of the tomato plant and they understand that in about 60 days or less, an abundance of tomatoes will result from this plant. They'll pay a dollar for it, but they don't really know what kind of tomatoes you have. And so you have to show them with a picture to make it more enticing. So plan early and get a nice photo of the type of tomatoes you are growing. You're going to need them to market the product when it's only four inches tall. If you obtain a rotten tomato, ask the produce manager if the tomato you were given is the same as those on the produce rack, and if so, note the type and find quality images online using Google Image Search or other image search engines. If you sell the first plant, you have your first payday, and that's pretty exciting. The green box is a payday. Watch closely as the paydays grow. The horizontal line marks the days. The vertical column is the lifeline of the first seed and all its descendants over time. If you plant all the seeds from the rotten tomato, you have many germinations going on at once, but it's too complicated to cover all the possible outcomes. And so I want to make this simple and understandable. I'll show two paths, but only one seed will be considered. And you have to understand that one seed could be a hundred seeds growing simultaneously. And in later examples, there could be tens of thousands of seeds germinating and small plants arising from many, many germinations. And then it gets even more complicated because each plant will begin to produce tomatoes and a simple graph can't possibly show you all the possibilities. Just remember this, your net worth is growing and the sources of income, as you will see, are from a variety of sources. To sell or not to sell is the first decision. If you sell, you have a dollar where a penny used to be, assuming that you ascribe a value of one penny for asking the produce manager for rotten tomato to get your business launched. If the seed came from a tomato that you bought, then you might ascribe a penny of cost for each seed emanating from the tomato that gave you all the seeds. With one dollar, you can buy more seeds. For our example, we will assume that you buy another tomato and you extract the seeds and then eat the edible part of the tomato. From this imaginary tomato, you obtain a hundred seeds or so. The one dollar is income and it's your first payday. If you reinvest it into more seeds, you have a hundred more plants coming in about 30 days. And this starts a plant pyramid and a new source of income. 
Instead of having one column, you have two. And you have two production lines from which to derive an income. Isn't that exciting? With the first column, you get paid at 30 days or 90 days, assuming that the tomato is the large beefsteak tomato and it matures in 85 days. I use 90 days to be conservative. And it's a quarter of a year as well, so the math is simpler. At 90 days, you have tomatoes to sell. At 30 days, you have 4-inch plants to sell. Anytime you don't sell something, you keep it, and it becomes more valuable. A tomato might be worth a dollar, but the seeds are worth ten dollars. So getting stuck with tomatoes is not the worst event in the world. The world wants beefsteak tomato seeds, and through mail, your market is the entire world. The tomatoes would have to be sold locally, but seeds can travel across the nation in a few days. So don't worry about having a deluge of tomatoes and not being able to sell them. If you get only 10 cents a pound for tomatoes, remember that a farmer in California raises tomatoes on 700 acres and he gets only 3.4 cents per pound. He sells to canneries, so 10 cents a pound is triple what he's getting. He's profitable at $68 a ton, and if $68 a ton pays some bills for you, turn those tomatoes into cash and pay your bills. It is likely that you will have too much money coming in to pay your bills and you will accumulate cash, which doesn't grow at the rate of 10,000% per month. So don't be too hungry for cash unless you desperately need it. You might say, my credit card company is a crook and I want to get rid of that debt as soon as possible because they're charging me 30% interest. Well, 30% is nothing compared to 10,000%, and I'd rather have my money in germinating seeds because seeds grow so fast that what the crooks charge on credit cards is insignificant by comparison. Through the sale of a plant and the purchase of more seeds, you created a second column and a second source of income. And every 30 days, you have a selling season, and every 90 days, you have another selling season, plants and tomatoes, respectively. So you have two sources of paydays, each occurring at 30 days and 90 days from the first seed germination. But look at what happened. The first germination and the second are off by 30 days. That means you have paydays coming in at an offbeat manner. A payday in 30 days and another payday in 60 days. Because the proceeds from the sale of one plant after 30 days on the first planting resulted in reinvestment into more seeds and in 30 days you have 4-inch plants on the second planting. That's 60 days from the original seed germination. Two paydays occurring in 30-day intervals, and we're not done yet. We have tomatoes maturing on the first column at the 90-day mark. Let's go to the next slide. You will notice that some of the second column seeds have reached 4-inch height and were sold, and they produced a third column. And that plant pyramid is now producing income. Count the income boxes in green. One, two, three, four. You have three sources of income, each column, and four paydays showing because the original seeds planted, that's column one, have reached maturity, and you have tomatoes to sell at 90 days or thereabouts. At 90 days, you are seeing one payday from column two and three, and two paydays from column one, four paydays in all. You are building net worth and you don't want too much cash. What you want is growth, growth of your net worth. Growth comes not from cash, but from seeds. Cash is useful to pay bills, that's all. It makes no sense to take money out of the place where it's growing at the rate of 10,000% per month and put it where you get 1% annually. Don't play their currency game. A fiat currency is not where you want to be. Stay in tomatoes, seeds, and four-inch plants because that's where all the growth is and the purpose is to improve your net worth, isn't it? I have one more slide and then I'm done with this video. This slide depicts money coming in. The more net worth you have, the more sources of income you can enjoy and the less you need the cash that's coming in. So if your bills are paid, you might prefer to allow the plants to mature rather than sell off some for cash that you don't need. If you have too many seeds, you might look at acquiring some land which can be used to grow more tomatoes. You can choose a location where there are thousands of people nearby because they are your customers. 
Or you can choose a place where there are no people so you can grow your tomatoes for seeds and not worry about selling them to anyone. Now in the first 90 days you have three columns, three sources of income, each column producing paydays at 30 and 90 day intervals. Count the columns, one, two, three. Now count the paydays in green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen shown here. And this is not the end of the story, it's just the beginning. Thanks for watching.